Folklore has been key in keeping many beliefs and customs alive. Do you think it's got good sense? Well, maybe a little bit. Is he cautious? Words and wisdom from ancestors retold from one generation to the next. But this traditional way of telling stories has been losing out. And the older people that I spoke to who had been told stories said, well, you know, nowadays kids are only interested in TV or mother's work, grandparents don't live with the family anymore. So that breakdown of the family, of the extended family, means that we're also losing our stories. Um, and the problem is because they're transmitted orally, you know, once that generation who do know the stories die off, we lose them forever. Kwani, a literary network based in Kenya, has held its first festival dedicated to oral literature. It's fun, like you get to listen to nice stories and understand and sometimes it's like a joke, so yeah. And I would like to say that Kisumu is a beautiful place where everybody comes together as one family. Here, technology is used in favor of tradition. I became very passionate about stories. Record the stories because when I die, my story will die with me. And if the story is inside me, it will be very sad. Words like to be spoken. And when you put a word out there, it's forever. My grandmother's stories are too long and very funny. According to storyteller Maimuna Jalo, one of the ways African folklore can survive in this day and age is if societies reinvent their traditional tales while remaining true to the art form. Because another thing I found during this journey was that whilst the stories have messages that are universal and important regardless of what era we're living in, so respect your parents, don't be greedy, often the contexts were out of date. Um, and so it was hard for children of this generation to identify with them. Kwani is now running a competition to encourage budding writers to create their own version of African folklore. And they can do this by submitting their entries to www.reimaginedstories.com. And also use the stories to talk about very serious issues that we're facing. Things like radicalism, things like corruption, things like, you know, dangers online. You know, it doesn't all have to be serious. But stories are an opportunity to... You, they can be used as an entryway to talk about very real issues. The two-month competition will run till May 20th. The best 25 entries will be published and reproduced in newspapers around the continent. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.